Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back, everybody. Please do subscribe both channels, EE Arts and Evolutionary Energy Arts. Earlier today, we were talking some, about some more hidden truths that they don't want you to know on EE Arts. And we want to thank our Patreons for their support and also those supporting us over on Ko-Fi. As you hear the dogs playing in the background, it's impossible to get these two to... You know, we need like 10 acres to yeah. keep them quiet. At, le at least, yeah. Yeah, so a quarter acre doesn't do. But New York, here you have the governor of New York. As you could just look at the headline, Governor Hochul's call for 5.4 million Republicans to leave New York is dangerous and disgusting and very, very divisive. Yeah, she isn't shy about issuing orders. She had one for the state's Republicans this week. All 5.4 million of them. Just jump on a bus and head down to Florida where you belong. You're not New Yorkers. Wow. Yeah, what a way to go about you know, bringing people together. You know, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Just looking at her skin. I mean, she looks a little extra pale, if you ask me. It's a little much. Are you saying that maybe she's a vampire? Well, you know. And the Great Divide just increases. As you see this, California Governor Gavin Newsom throws down the gauntlet to Ron DeSantis, donates 100000 to his Democratic opponent, Charlie Crist, in order to make DeSantis a one-term governor. See, again, donating and lobbying and money. You know, just look at the money. Money buys office. Bribe people, put people in office. I mean, this is the system. The system has to go. The system is a joke. It's absolutely ridiculous. And talk about divisive. We can, you know, we're, we're just seeing, it's just gotten worse every year. Every election cycle, it gets worse. And you see here, uh, Governor Newsom, you know, the WEF young leader that he is, Says he won't be taking cues of what is ridiculous from a guy trying to convict doctors of life in prison for providing women reproductive care. So again, it, it depends on how you look at things in many cases. Now, some would say, yeah, well, we could go down that rabbit hole of, you know, what, you know, the Roe versus Wade rabbit hole, which is so divisive. And so we won't. Let's just, you know, leave it at that. And you see Governor Abbott down below, ridiculous, banning gasoline power vehicles will hurt all Americans. No wonder so many people are leaving California, heading to the Lone Star State. Well, here we have a campaign ad. It's going to bring people right back to California, mm -hmm. you know, in droves. Why would you want to leave this? It is a gorgeous state. And we, and we were just saying that again. You know, it's one of the most beautiful states in, in the country. But at the same time... You can't say that about the leadership. As your governor, I promise you, whatever challenges come our way, I will always lead the California way. You are literally insane. I say that's the California way. You guys are really awesome. Thank you so much. Based on compassion. I mean, if we're going to be realistic, they pay you to be homeless here. Common sense. Clean and sober is one of the biggest damn mistakes this country's ever made. Uh, we all need to self-medicate periodically. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. Treasuring our diversity. This is the first to hit my... Telling the truth. Following science. Protecting our planet. Love like yours will surely come by here. Gavin Newsom, Courage Through Crisis. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, when you, when you do a Google search for Newsom attacks DeSantis, you just come up with all sorts of stuff. You know, DeSantis, Abbott, Abbott as well. You know, really what's going on is, is, again, this is the WEF and their young leadership, you know, again, trying to, maintain their momentum but you know in many ways they're hitting a brick wall because people are waking up very very fast and you know i gotta even kind of question how are they not panicking more than they really are because we've woken up so much and you have um you could probably google it yourself i didn't bring this up but google and youtube are changing 
what is allowed um, as far as censorship concerning the plague upon the land and the cures thereof. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's very very nice that they're they're going to come out and just. I think I guess they're going to allow people to say certain things, but we'll see how this pans out. Yeah, I, I should have brought this up before, guys. But anyway, you could you could see it today. They are changing what they're going to allow now. We'll see if that actually manifests or not. But again, when we saw Newsom go into the White House, many people were saying, why is he in the White House? Why did he make this visit? Well, you know, will how long will JB last? You know, again, if you look at look to the stars astrologically, there, there's a high possibility he won't make it through, through the full of this year. And, uh, you know, the key time coming up again is September and October. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And when we say that, we mean, you know, in office. But, you know, again, anything could happen. People are dropping left and right that are in their 20s and 30s and have no prior health conditions. And this is, well, you know, this is a guy that doesn't seem to be too with it much of the time, to say the least. Of course, you know, how many body doubles slash clones do they have? Probably quite a few in the closet. So you have the D.C. Mayor Bowser announcing that students that haven't gotten the ouchie will not be allowed to t attend school. And currently that's, you know, over 40% of a certain ethnicity. Well, I think it's a wonderful chance to homeschool and deprogram your kids because, you know, we know they get plenty of programming. Mm -hmm. Well, you're definitely right there to talk to them and, and answer certain questions and, you know, explain things to them in a way where they don't take everything that they're indoctrinated with and take it to heart and place their ego upon it as in the almighty word that is everything and all so it's really important to have that conversation with your kids to say hey look they might say this now but they might change their mind next year so don't really get too hung up on it yeah in this this world that we live in we see the history rewritten constantly we see the science rewritten all the time and and we see again it's always you know do as we say not as we do so yeah, homeschool. Kids are a lot better off if you do that in general. Let's listen to words of wisdom. Reach <laughs> that's within our hands if we just vote. If we elect two more senators, we keep the House the Democrats. We're going to get a lot of unfinished business. We're going to get done. Folks, look. We'll codify Roe v. Wade. We'll ban, we'll ban assault weapons. Yeah, they're going to... There you go again. Ban those assault weapons. We'll protect Social Security and Medicare. We'll pass universal pre-K. We'll restore the child care tax credit. We'll protect... How about ban the IRS? Protect voting rights. We'll pass election reform and make no... Make sure no one, no one ever has an opportunity to steal an election again. 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 Oh, my God. Is he calling himself out? Did you catch that last part? To steal an election again. No one ever has an opportunity to steal an election again. Okay, well, it's good to hear you finally admitted it anyway. Finally. And, by the way, his job rating has risen 44, up to 44%. That's the highest in the year. As we get closer to November and the elections, this is, you know, coming again from Gallup. Uh, I don't, I can't see it. I, I really don't trust it. But again, what numbers can we really trust? They say it's more independence leading Biden's way. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Make no mistake, too. The, the U.S. already has plans in store for digital currencies, as, as do most countries. When that happens... You know, cash, you, you could do little things with cash. You know, you could pay your neighbor to fix your sink or, or the kid down the street to cut your lawn. This is going to eliminate all that. The authorities are going to control every transaction you make. What authorities? Well, you know, people like that are in the WF, for instance. They're going to c 
control every transaction that you do because they're going to have to they're going to be able to approve or disapprove you're going to have no control really over your own money Mm -mm. no they're going to make sure that they know where every single solitary cent goes i mean you would think they have a good enough control on it now but that's not enough for them they want more control that's that's their savior that's what they crave is control okay so let's look at this first here he is nobody around him maybe secret service several yards away at best definitely maintaining that six to twelve foot thing and he is all masked up he is looking proper he's looking dapper he's got that blue suit and the blue tie on wow and then we see last night Is his contact tracing app going off? It should be. Look at all those people. Uh, you know, you're, you're practically swimming in an ocean there of bacteria and viruses and who knows what else. Which in general, that's really not a bad thing to expose ourselves to dirt anyway, bugs. Yes. Well, maybe not reptiles, though. No, not reptiles. You're right. If you guys get what we mean. Hey, you know what? Another person that was looking into the Clintons ended up dead. Isn't that amazing? Former Phoenix reporter who broke the story of Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting found dead. Yeah, found dead. They think it was suicide. You know, probably one of those things where, you know, he he saw a light post out there and, you know, his hands were tied behind his back and there was a rubber... No, I'm just making it up. But anyway, you know, these things happen all the time. I mean, how many of these events have there been associated with the Clintons? Well, you know, there tends to be two two wounds and they, (laughs) you know, how does this happen with when one person tries to hurt himself? It's just silly. It is. It is. So this this was from back in 2016, a 2016 meeting between former president bill clinton whose wife hillary at the time was running for president was being investigated by the fbi and then attorney general loretta lynch phoenix sky harbor international airport tarmac at the time of their meeting their meeting was cast as a potential conflict of interest a report by the office of inspector general department of justice detailed what took place at that meeting and anyway he he moved from alabama to arizona spent 13 years working at a paper there and then went back and anyway he is now found dead on i would view it as suspicious and that's just me but hey i'm a cons piracy theorist me too me too there you go you know a lot of people might view a lot of things that this person has said as suspicious but we're told don't worry it's for the betterment of humanity they know what they're doing there's a a younger looking her schwab it, it ought to be said that you and I, just to take note, people always say, where were you? And you, That's right. You and I were having breakfast yeah. in New York on September. Yeah, this is again about, where were you? September 11th, 9-11, where were you? 11th. It, it ought to be said that you and I, just to take note, people always say, where were you? And you, That's right. You and I were having breakfast yeah. in New York on September 11th. Oh, wow. That was another one of those strange little coincidences. He, mm-hmm. You know, that was a major, major pivot point in us moving into this new age where everything we do, every word that we say is being monitored. This video is being monitored. You're probably being monitored listening to this video. There's no freedoms in this world. And talk about freedoms. This is EU President Ursula von der Leyen openly talking about what they want to implement again at the WEF. And change is happening just as fast in other areas. So since uh, the beginning of the pandemic, we saw an explosion in digital innovation and the use of tech. They enabled factories to stay open. They enabled companies to sell their products, people to access essential public services, you name it. 
we have to keep pace with this change and that means that we will certainly have to write a new rule book for the digital economy and the digital society. So covering everything from data to infrastructure, but also talking about security and democracy, technology to fair taxation, taxation all these are topics on the table with digital change. So ladies and gentlemen, the need for global cooperation and this acceleration of change will both be drivers of the great reset. Yeah, no, and, and you get a wiki for that, but it's right out there. Oh no, this is this is just one meeting that happened, you know. Uh, yeah, sure. There's nothing to it. There's no no CNS piracy. British Prime Minister Hopeful says she's ready to launch nuclear war. Yeah, Liz Trust, who is, guess what? Yeah, she's another one of them, a member of the few. Yeah, she's all set and ready to go. She's ready to kick off thermonuclear warfare should she take over as prime minister. What's up with these sadistic, insane people that are, you know, part of this WEF group? You know, it kind of feels like they all have a bit of a mask on, really. I don't know. To me, you know, it's, I just get the vibe that they don't really like humanity. They don't really like the average person. They're all about stomping down personal rights. And here we see Germany. Uh, some protests going on. Actually, the protests are all over the globe. All over the globe. <laughs> As we're saying, they're everywhere. This is Puerto Rico. Power prices, blackouts, service interruptions, you, you name it. It's just everything gets piled on higher and higher. Oh, they're piling it on in France. They're piling it on. You know, you could only push people so far and now when people are not already and we're not into the winter yet at all already having problems you know, getting their power turned off being so far behind on bills not being able to afford food you know it, last time when the this is in Lahore Pakistan uh, last time, you know, when we had the lockdown, you had all sorts of mom and pop stores losing their business and small business losing, you know, their livelihood. So many people just suffering. It's been nonstop suffering that's really all caused by those at the top. Here's over in Chile. So again, we see this is on every corner of the globe. The pushback is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Over in London. In Glasgow, Scotland. Again, energy prices, price gouging. Even the most compliant of sheep have finally had enough. No, this is, this is just getting started. There's a lot more to go here. Because, you know, these, these people will... They'll go and ease off the gas a little bit, but then they'll push down on something else. Mm -hmm. That's one of the favorite games they play. I've heard it's called the totalitarian tiptoe, and they just see how far they can push people, and if it's too far, just so they don't have their buildings ruined or they don't lose too much 
um, of their their items they'll back off just a little bit but as soon as they see that door open again where they need to can apply pressure they will and right now we're in a space where we can do things about our own freedom and we really really need to because it's not going to be that way forever the door on our freedoms is closing ever so slowly but surely and this is in Bangladesh where politicians are literally being hunted and don't don't think that that can't happen in other places. This is why, again, Trudeau was so terrified. So he had to get reassurances from his handlers that he would be okay. And from what Cindy has been able to remote view and get message-wise, come 2025, after this, these two election cycles, especially after 2024, you will not see any of them in public. Not in public. I mean, they won't dare step foot in public. This is where we are heading. San Francisco businesses threatened to stop paying taxes and demand for action in their neighborhood. Yeah, people have had enough. And, and in China, they were basically not paying their mortgages. Here you have farmers up in uh, Alberta now surrounding the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, it's going to get hotter than this. This is still, again, this is just starting. And more than likely it's going to get hotter and really what we'd have to have is we we need more of the people that are actually enforcing the will of the few on the many to recognize it's time to not you know not <laughs> back the wrong horse not back team humanity you got to choose a side so to speak they always want you to choose a side but they want you to choose a side in which we're fighting each other we have to choose a side for the planet, for humanity, and for all life on the planet. Mm -hmm. You know, our compassion and understanding is so critical right now. While we watch other people that are still in the matrix, still in the system, they don't understand. They still think that those people who are giving them checks and those people that are talking to them about their health, they still believe that these people have their best interest at heart. So, you know, when it comes to our friends and family, and I know we talk to a lot of you and you're sad because your family still is in the, in the system, just keep that open heart, keep that compassion just wide open so that when it is time for them to come and ask questions, because they will, you're going to be ready. Why does Joe want you to vote? Because it's a vote that says that you trust the system even if you don't trust the system you're participating in the system so what's what's our choice well it, it's to make the system obsolete and useless it has to break down it has to go away and yeah that's not going to happen overnight but we have to do whatever we can to reclaim freedom for ourselves again you he wants you to go ahead and vote but when they hold the cards when they hand when when they're the ones that have those that are counting the beans let's just say right the money counters the number counters when they're controlled you don't go into a vegas casino thinking that you have even odds it's the same thing with the political system there's that saying that the house always wins and when you have paid for lobbying, which is paid for bribery, th there's only a choice between one puppet and another. There's never a real choice. Any real choice will never get to that, you know, final point of destination and actually be a viable option. That's what people need to, to recognize and wake up to. U.S. Coast Guard ship denied port in the Solomons, and this is a place where we used to go, the U.S. used to go and be allowed to go. But now they've made a deal with China for protection. So, again, this world is shifting. The power is heading towards Beijing. Beijing's just going to be the, the policeman of the world, like the USA has been the policeman of the world. The law enforcement of the big bankers, the corporations, that's really all that's going on here. Just the new world order is the same old world order. It's just a revised, updated, and less uh, of the illusion of freedoms. Just a big old relabeling. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bunch of BS, plain and simple. Belarus delivers on nuke promise to Putin. 
Moscow's ally has modified its warplanes so they can deploy Russian nuclear weapons, so says the president of Belarus, Belarus. And so, you know, again, that march towards that third conflagration, that's a card they can always play at any time because they control those cards. You know, and so they could always trigger that. When when we get too close to actually starting to upend the system, then they have these other cards to play. There could be a new plague upon the land. Absolutely. Or it could be the war card. Here's Elon Musk about synthetic mRNA. I, th I think there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs on the medical front, uh, particularly around the synthetic uh, mRNA. Uh, you can basically do anything with uh, synthetic uh, RNA, DNA. Um, it's, really, it's like a computer program. So, you know, I think with enough, with, with, uh, with an effort that's not too crazy, you could probably stop aging, reverse it if you want. Um, uh, these are, you can basically do it. You can turn someone into a freaking butterfly if you want with the right DNA sequence. That says it all. So then again, why are we seeing life expectancy decline? Why are we seeing fertility rates decline? Why is the quality of life declining in general for the average person? It's pretty awful to think about it, but it's happening. It's awful and it's obvious. From Spanish Stonehenge to Nero Bridge, world artifacts that reemerged during, during this heat wave and drought. As you see here, uh, th th just amazing. Our history is so hidden. And in fact, if we were at that point in time when we had full glaciation at the poles, oh, we'd have so much to talk about. Yeah, there'd be so many hidden cities exposed again. The technologies that have been available on the planet, which actually exceed what we have today out in the open, we should say. And just the fact that there have been world cultures uh, that have been totally, totally hidden and, and covered up. And we go into a lot of that over on EE Arts a little bit more. But there's Buddhist statues that have been on Earth, 13 million year old dinosaur footprints. At least that's the dating they give on us. As you could see, this is in Texas, by the way, on a dried riverbed. The Spanish Stonehenge. Ancient Iraqi city. There is so much hidden. A bridge at, from the time of Emperor Nero. And, of course, the hunger stones that we were talking about before. But don't worry, guys. Take a cue from nature and just smile. Just smile. Yeah. Aren't those guys cute? Look at them. Look at them. Their Nature has given them a permanent smile. Wouldn't it be great if we could have a permanent smile? We can. All we really got to do is change the system. The problem is the leadership of this planet. Every one of those alphabet soups, they are the problem. Mm -hmm. They're a huge problem, and they get people. They get people to feel that they have to have their have their temperament a certain way. But if we get our mindset right, and we point ourselves in the right direction, and we we lift ourselves up, then we can be in a space where we would want to permanently smile, not just because it's painted on us but because we are very very happy and we have a chance to do that now so we could look at all the chaos and know the good news is we're getting closer to the end of this era that we're getting closer to the end of this age we're watching the crumbling of the system yeah it can be a scary ride as the system crumbles as all the walls come tumbling down it can be a little bit of a you know a thrill ride so to speak mm -hmm. But we're heading in the right direction, even though it looks like we're heading for the edge of a cliff. Yeah. We just have to maintain our own individual sovereignty. And when it comes to giving away our freedoms, just say no. Hell no. Indeed. As always, God bless and namaste. Namaste.